what's up you guys i hope everyone is having an amazing day i want to share something with you really quick there was a time in my life where i was so like i'm gonna use the term frazzled like you know anxious or whatever i used to be scared to go to sleep because i thought that if i died in my sleep i thought that i was gonna burn in the pits i used to think that god hated me i used to think that i couldn't come to him and like you know i thought that i was so messed up and i thought that the things that i was doing was so jacked up i thought that there was no hope for me right and then some of the people that i was around they would see what i was doing not understanding that what i was doing was because i was trying to help myself like something was wrong and i went about trying to fix myself the wrong way and it was just sin breeding more sin breeding more sin right but they couldn't see that i needed help so they automatically they were counting me out like oh you're doing this and that you know people go to hell for this and that blah 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 right i'm making this video because i want to let you know to not count anybody out it is not your responsibility to count anyone out okay let your life reflect what it is that you believe in be the seed planter and let the lord handle the rest i had a conversation yesterday we were talking about how people have to come to Christ, come to the Lord, give your life to Christ and stuff. And the person that I was talking to didn't necessarily understand what I was trying to explain. So I'm going to explain it to you. And hopefully one person understands this and applies it as it should be. There are some people that are hurting or doing things and they know that the Lord is real. They feel the call to come to the Lord, but some people aren't coming because they believe that they have to already be uh, matching the standard of perfection that they believe comes along with answering the, answering the call. So there are some people that believe that they have to be perfect to come to the Lord. I made a video probably a year ago and I was talking about how as a personal trainer, how it feels for somebody to tell me that they need help losing weight, but they're going to lose weight before their first session getting help losing weight. You do not have to be perfect to come to Christ. You do not, first of all, you don't even know what perfection is. There are things about us that we don't even recognize. There are things that you are doing that you don't realize are the root, the, you don't realize the true root cause behind what you're doing. So there's no way that you're gonna just fix yourself or fix it before you come to him. You, I, I really want somebody to understand this. You do not have to be perfect to come to Christ. Once you come, he starts doing the work in you. Things start changing. But first, all you have to do is come. All right? Don't worry about all that other stuff. You will grow in grace and knowledge of the Lord. All you have to do is first show up come answer yes i i want to receive you walk towards it right second if you are a person and you think that your walk with the lord is so clean oh you speak in tongues you you dance on the praise team you this and that you're in church i don't give a crap if you're in church seven days a freaking week if you're a person that believes that you have the right to look at other people's lives and condemn them to hell, you need to reevaluate yourself as a believer. And I'm not arguing with anybody over this. Our goal should be to 
make it in and we should want to see other people make it in when i was doing the ridiculous stuff that i was doing trying to heal myself do you realize that if if one person saw and understood that it was coming from a place of being troubled in a sense and pointed me in a better direction that I wouldn't have had to continue on the way I was doing only to run into the truth eventually anyway. Do you realize that there were people that you, and, and it's crazy because now they're watching me and, and all and talking about how proud of me they are and, and this and that. And you're the same person that told me that I was going to rot in hell. Do you know that there are people There are people that are coming from other religious backgrounds and stuff. And in their last moment, a moment that you won't be there to see, a moment that you won't be sharing with them, in their last moment, they can call out to the Lord and ask to be saved and believe and they're going to make it in. Do you realize that? You guys, a lot, of, a lot of people have so much to say about somebody's lifestyle or, or, or how you see somebody moving. And a lot of these people are just lost and looking for the answer, the healing answer. And it's crazy because you know the answer, but you spend so much time, you spend so much of your time acting like you weren't want somebody that needed the answer too. You spend so much time acting like you're the answer that you can't even recognize when somebody needs the answer that you're walking around with. You're not recognizing that all you're doing is telling them that because they don't have the answer, they're not going to make the cut. And you're full of crap. Yeah. I really wanted to just make this video to let you know that it's not okay to write people off like you're God. You don't have the last say. You don't know the last say because a lot of y'all are going to be shook when y'all make it to heaven and you see people that you weren't expecting to see there. A lot of people are going to be shook when they think that they're making it in, but they were so nasty to everybody on earth. The work is finished. The new commandments. What? I'm not a pastor. You can look this up for the exact wording. Love your neighbor as yourself and love the Lord your God with your heart, soul, and mind. If you're somebody that is walking the same path that I walked, don't let anybody write you off. And it's up to you whether or not you believe that there is no hope for you. Because there is. As long as there's breath in your body, as long as the Lord is waking you up, there's still a chance to come to him. And remember, you don't have to have it all figured out in order to do so. Just take the first step. I'm not going to go into all the, you know, how people like to do, oh, the letter J didn't exist, this, that, and the other. When I say Jesus is the answer, you go and do with that what you please. Look into it. Seeds of truth can only lead to the truth. If you are diligently searching and trying to find the real answer and stuff, you're going to end up at the truth regardless. All right. <laughs> this video really is to let people know, like I said, don't write anybody off because you don't have the right to. And now I'm going to tell you, don't let anyone write you off. You guys remember the Lord. And yeah, man, <sighs> treat people the way you want to be treated. Love people the way you want to be loved. Understanding comes with love 
You can't love if you don't, if you're not seeking to understand the people around you. And to understand the people around you, you have to really look at yourself.